Hello everyone, you're off the beaten trail with Edward this morning. Almost the end of August, first day of school here in Kalamazoo. And I'm live from 4th Street. Almost to the Van Buren County line. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what we're about to see. Um, back when I was in high school, we'd come out here to go fishing at Little Pawpaw Lake. There were farms and homes all around. There was a small gravel pit that the county used. I'll show you where that was. Um, a, uh, uh, a larger sand and gravel pit um, was in a, in a location that we'll see where it has grown. Uh, also farm houses and barns and so forth here and there but over the years uh, that property was all purchased uh, and the ground below it contains a huge amount of gravel rock sand that of course was deposited when the glacier when the glacial the glacier retreated see I finally got it I'm thinking of the dark room and glacial acetic acid <laughs> um, but when the uh, glacier receded left all these great deposits and they were found and the permits were, were gained and it's being mined as we speak and we'll take a little ride out here it's not too far away but if somebody hadn't been here for 50 years let's say and then came out here today, they would go, oh my, the street is paved. And yes, the street is paved. And they'd go, oh my, where are all the farms that were, that were here? And why are these big berms along the road? We're about to find out. Okay, folks, in this location along 4th Street is where the County Road Commission, Kalamazoo County, has their little, had their little dirt pit. It was quite a gully here, uh, probably 45, 50 feet deep. Um, it was clear. We'd come down here, there's a little road over here along the trees, and we'd come down here shooting high-powered rifles, shotguns, pistols, everything. This was like the county shooting range. But then one day, they closed it, and uh, they leveled it all off, and it's a closed area. We're gonna go up and take a look at a little different area. Please hold up. Well now, with that county area being closed, this back here was just a flat, open piece of ground, if you will, covered with trees, I should, shouldn't say open, it was a flat piece of ground, forested, it was bought, and it's uh, it's been mined out. This is just part of it, and uh, very clean operation. Across the street over here where there were, uh, was a good sized farm, a lot of property is also the entrance to one of the sand and gravel operations out here that go way back and way behind these trees on um, uh, hundreds of acres being mined and uh, we'll go down here to the end of the street where, uh, where I used to go in the 70s as well and poke around looking for fossils in the rocks. We'll be right there. Of course, this area here, there were a couple of old farms and it has been mined out over the years. Uh, the farms, of course, are gone. And uh, they've re they're returning this to its natural state. There's some deer running down through here. Got a gravel truck gonna come by here in a minute. Yeah, 
baby, that's where all the money is, right? But that's what, after they're done mining, they do try to restore the, the land to make it look decent again and let the, the forest take back over the way it was. We're going to go up and look at the main pit. Be right back. Now back in the 70s, none of this I'm about to show you existed. There were a couple of homes along here. There was a home here. There was swamp down below. But all behind those berms back up on 4th Street, way to the north, they're mining. And they have their conveyors for the sand and gravel. This is a giant conveyor. And it runs along down through what used to be swamp. And you can see there's a little transfer station right there. And it comes along under the street. Off here in the distance where you see the bump, there are still two private homes there. And this is uh, their street goes under the street and back here this used to be swamp and now they've made it into a large retaining pond and as you can see um, they have finished the the banks all the way around you can hear Canadian geese in the in the background it's a beautiful day out here with the steam coming off the, the pond, but down below there you can see the, uh, the conveyor running out and over and around back into the main pit. Now the main pit keeps going to the west for almost another half mile past where you see those trucks being loaded down below there. And off in the distance, looks like a pretty nice dwelling there, right on the edge of the whole project. Like I said, this has been going on out here since at least the early 70s. But this company puts out a beautiful product because they have the ground and the material here that was left by the glacier. And the family that started this, I personally uh, know uh, members of that family and have come out here with one of the owners target shooting in this dirt pit back in the day when I don't think they even realized that uh, it was gonna grow. But I'm sure that they, they're they very happy with it. I know the neighbors out here were treated well. And uh, it's, a, it's quite a, a little hidden site. Sand and gravel. A lot of people would say, who would ever thunk it? Well, out here they sure did, and as you can see, it's not some kind of a smoky industrial waste site or something like that. Crushed stone and gravel and some sand. Thought you'd like to see this this morning. Beautiful sunrise. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You're west of Schoolcraft just off 4th Street.
off the beaten trail with Edward. Have a great day.